to. Aries and Amorta here, back with a fun tech tip because I haven't done these in a while. But um, say you got a Windows 7 computer, laptop in this case, ThinkPad Lenovo. So uh, we're going to go ahead and slam in our Linux Mint USB. If you uh, don't know how to make one of those, you're going to have to find uh, one of my other videos or another one on YouTube on how to make it. If you want me to make one for sure, I'll uh, just drop a comment about it. So we're going to go ahead and power this switch on. And then immediately you're going to watch for boot options, any kind of thing that, uh, you know, interrupt the normal start. Damn, I think it's too slow. So control all the way to restart the whole system. So we'll get another chance of this, if you know you mess up. There you go. This one beeps at you. So then I choose temporary startup device for this computer. Most of them just say boot device. Choose boot device. Um, so then we'll go to the identifies the USB type, make sure you're using a Kingston, obviously type in Kingston. Um, here we are. Okay. Let it off. Linux Mint. I almost called it Linux Mint. Really terrible pictures. Probably not like what I want to mention. So, wait for this to boot. And then basically what we're going to do is use uh, this to alter the System32 of Windows and establish a small back door on the login screen. Um, from there, you've only got one shot, you need to boot straight, you just turn it off, we'll restart, boot straight in the windows on the operating system, and uh, you'll, be able, you'll be able to get in. But uh, first I'm going to show you how. As soon as this boots up, we'll go straight to the uh, file system of the, uh, the actual drive in the computer. Because right now we're running an operating system off, basically kind of to the side, or whatever you want to call it, but it's like, not running in the actual giving you full access to this drive without a password, which is a huge flaw, which is why you should encrypt your drives. It's like a must. Otherwise, you know, anybody with physical access, and even then, you know, it's just going to take a long to decrypt it, which is progress, really. Anyway, it's not the point. So we go over here to home if you're new to Linux. This is your first time trying anything with it. This is crazy that you're using this to do it. So we go over to Windows 7 operating system, as I was saying, using the Windows partition. On your own file system. Say I don't know. That's your USB. I'll go over down to Windows. Actually, the right one. Then it takes a little bit of open. Oh, Windows. Sorry for that. Okay, I'm ready. Go down to find System 32. It's like, cool. And then from here, you're going to want to find the CMD, cmd.exe. So once you find your cmd.exe, which you can just type to find, um, try to record and do this all at the same time, just copy it. Don't do anything but copy, just make a copy. All right. All right, now find, type in set, S-E-T-H-C. You'll find an executable called that. Can harm your computer. Alright, now right click and paste. I mean, you could have done this right away, but you had to delete that other one first. Go to properties or rename, right click that bitch. And now leave the .exe, that's important, it stays there. But everything else, clear out and write set hc as you did before to find it. Now we've replaced the command prompt, or uh, sorry, you've replaced the sticky the hotkeys or whatever the sticky keys are with another command prompt and for one cycle of windows it won't know uh, as soon as you shut down the computer it'll notice and repair it before it shuts down I'm pretty sure it's on shut down because I've tested this so we'll just go ahead and it restarts yeah So you'll probably end up at a screen like this after you restart. Just choose start windows normally. Don't do save mode or anything like that. Let it boot. Alright, so after several thousand hours, it'll be another windows taking a boot sometimes. There we go. Bam. That is an administrator CMD running for you. So you go net user, net user. Ah, take it. Bam, administrator guest. So, I mean, for this, 
it'll say owner. So that's the password you want. So net user owner like that space asterisk enter. Man, type new password for user. Now, once you uh, log in um, and restart, make sure you don't just make sure you for sure uh, well, you have to restart and do this whole process again. Because when it shuts down, it'll notice the error that sticky keys is no longer the sticky keys executable anymore, and it'll repatch it. So the next time you try it, um, this computer is yours. Like the next time you try to log in and do that again, it's actually gone. It's like a little, it's like a one-time thing, like a stick under a trap, and then once you use it, you gotta put the stick back in again. And that's my backdoor for Windows using the Linux version. I've never seen anybody do it before. It's an easy thing to do it really long way. You know, you know, shut down the hard start computer over and over again until you're finally at the start of the thing. But as you can see, that was pretty simple, easy. I mean, the longest thing was just uh, navigating the file system. Uh, this has been an Amazon more detective. Have fun bypassing Windows 7 logins. It's just secure. All you need is physical access. Aries out.